Hey guys, let's take a look and see what messages come out, what energies are going to be focused on today. Hope everybody had a great day yesterday. Hope everybody got a lot of rest, enjoys your families, whatever's going on there. Yep, the tower, the tower's coming out. We have somebody here. There's an energy coming up. This is Scorpio energy. If I'm not mistaken, this came out, um, <clears throat> it came up yesterday, the tower energy. Um, this card is telling me that there's some folks here who are in the middle of a shift. Something is falling apart. The cores of a foundation falling apart. Look at this. You got people falling out of the buildings and carrying on, right? Now, when you see the tower, typically something that you didn't see happening. Something was going to fall. Something falls apart, right? Unwanted changes, ruin, disgrace, upheaval. This card is reversed here. So I feel like even, even though we know when the tower falls upright, it's something that is scary. We don't want it to happen. But subconsciously, believe it or not, it's something that we want to get out. It's something that has to become, it has to come out in order for us to be free, whatever this is about for some of you guys. Like even me, I can speak to this. There are some things that you want to change, but some things have to come out, right? So if you guys have been going through any injustices or anything like that, because I pulled the spread before this and the camera just didn't turn out right. It did bring up a lot of um, Libra energy. Some of you guys are in a justice system. Some of you guys are faced with having to have some answers um, prepared for the justice system. I feel like these are foundations that are falling apart, but they had to fall. And I feel like so much has taken place that you were like, you know what, Lord, in order for me to get any kind of relief out of this situation, this has to fall. It ain't going to be pretty when it falls. The foundation is going to shift. I might have to build all over again, but it's got to come out and it's got to come out. So I feel like there's this energy where something had to be revealed. Something had to come out. All right, so we do see that energy that comes up here. Give me another major arcana, please, that we need to look at under this energy. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these. This is a deck of major arcana cards. That's all they are, just major arcanas, right? So this is how I'm pulling the energies with these. Um, let's see what else comes out. Some of you guys need to increase your faith is what I'm seeing, too. There's something where you need to increase your faith. We have the chariot card that comes out. Now, for some of you guys, there's a possibility. Now, I know that we had a, a weekend of gift-giving, holidays, uh, Christmas, whatever it is you celebrate. We got Kwanzaa. We have Hanukkah, whatever it is, right? So I see that there's something here with a car. This is Sagittarius or Cancer Energy, something with a car, something with movement. Some of you guys are going to be moving forward. Some things came out that no, we're not comfortable with them, but I got to move forward. All right. In order for you to gain any kind of clarity, I got to move forward. I got to shed everything. I have to accept this shed. I have to accept the fact that things are going to fall in order for me to move forward and live out my true destiny. Right. So gone are the days of people trying to take your destiny. I feel like people are going to be operating in their own thing. Some of you guys are being faced with insurance fraud. All right. The accusation of insurance fraud. Did you do this? Did you not do this? Did you take out some sort of a policy on somebody who's living and walking around every single day? Did you get uh, four people married on somebody's watch who hasn't left the country? All right. Somebody who is tracked. Like, see, you guys have to understand, you never know who you're playing with. There's um, there's paper trails. There's uh, appointment trails. Right. So, for instance, there are some of you folks who decided, no, I'm not going to go out and get that, uh, you know, the jab. I'm not going to go get the jab. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the doctor every week and make sure I get that test to submit to my job. So they know I ain't got I don't need the jab and I ain't sick. Right. So we have paper trails like that. So imagine when you're doing stuff like that, taking measures like that, and you got demons of people coming up against you saying that you ran out and got married in four states or something like that, right? So these are the kind of demons that we're up against, right? You guys have to understand something. Some folks will invite you right over to their house. I'll give you an example of myself, all right? Because I don't want to, you know, I, I, I'm a divorced woman, right? And my ex-husband asked me to go over to his birthday party. And I've told you guys this before. And I said to him, no, I don't think that's a good idea. I'm not, I'm not going to take your shine. I told him, I'm not going to take your shine. I'm not going to show up to your party. But the thing with that is you need to be able to realize when you got demons asking you to do something to show up somewhere so they can get a picture with you so they can then exploit you, right? So as you develop spiritually, you need to have discernment also say, so why is this person inviting me out? Why is this person inviting me to a 50th birthday party when I ain't seen you, uh, probably more than 10, 15 minutes in three, four, five years. 
right? Why are you asking me to take trips to Puerto Rico? We're not good. Why would I do that, right? So you have some folks that will invite you out just so they can get a backdrop, just so they can, um, you know, use you as an ally or use your name. See, I'm friends with so-and-so. So you know what I mean? So you guys want to be really careful of these demons that come up against you. Everybody does not have your best interests at heart. If you have demons coming up to you and all of a sudden they want to make friends, absolutely people change. But I would advise you to sit back and watch. I don't want this to be no fussing session, which it, all right, but I'm going to give examples of my life so that you guys understand where this is coming from and you can take it and apply it to your situation. You got demons that ask you to show up, all right? This is involving a Scorpio again. There's something where somebody is upset or afraid that they're going to end up going to the big house because it's something that they tried to do with the Scorpio. Now, this is a death card that comes up. This is a card of Scorpio. This is a card of transformation. All right, Scorpios are always transitioning. We're always changing. This is big changes. This is endings. This is time to move on from something that is a norm. There are some things that have to go to, you got to put them to bed. You got to put them to rest. All right, so we see that there's some shedding of old habits, activities, friends, whatever this is. There's a death of something. In some cases, this could be even an ego death. All right, so, so far we have Scorpio. We have a fear of somebody going to jail. We have insurance policies. We got folks drunk driving out here because the chariot also symbolizes drunk driving. All right. So somebody could be trying to pin a Scorpio for drunk driving, trying to get pictures with you. Somebody is going to try and cause an accident to cause a death. Let's be real. Now, we do have the strength card that comes up. This is a card of Leo. This could involve a Scorpio. <clears throat> it looks like it could involve two different Scorpios. It could be a Sagittarius. For some of you guys, it could be a Cancer. There's another Scorpio that shows up here, but there's also a Leo that shows up here. So any of these people could be under some kind of a judgment, all right, with the tower, the foundations falling apart. We have somebody trying to be pinned for drunk driving. We have somebody who uh, um, was trying to cause some kind of death or ending for somebody here. It could be a Scorpio. Any of the signs here, we see where there's a Leo involved here. Let's see what else we have. And the world card did come out reverse. So some of you guys are facing something having to do with cyber crimes. This is siphoning of energy. Cyber crimes. I'm looking at you. I'm in your house illegally. I'm recording you illegally. This is voyeurism. This is a cyber crime. This is somebody going into your banking account and saying the money should go here, but actually it goes over there. All right. So this is like a whole operation, a whole scheme, whatever this is about for you. So we see that energy coming up. There's really no place for me to put these over here. Because like I said, I didn't want to have the same screen, but it is what it is. So we're going to put that there, even though it's going to fall. Okay. Everything got to fall anyway, right? All right, you know what I am going to do, guys? Let's see if I can make this a little bit easier. Just keep those cards in mind. I'm going to go ahead and pull some other cards. We're going to see what the story is behind this, and I'll go ahead and tie everything together if I need to. I'm going to use Lenormand because I do want to keep this short. We're already at eight minutes. Show me what's going on here. Give me clarity on what this is about. Some of you guys are dealing with a Leo. Some of you guys are dealing with a Leo. Some of you guys are dealing with an Aquarius, or this is Leo, Aquarius. This is Taurus, and this is Scorpio energy. Scorpio comes up three times. Scorpio comes up with the tower. Scorpio comes up with death. Scorpio comes up with the world. That's a fixed energy. And these are all the folks that could have been involved. It looks like there are legions of people where the foundations have fallen. It looks like there was some accusations, some attempts to make something look some way. And it turns out it's going to be another way. Let me tell you guys something, okay? Like I was telling you earlier about my ex-husband giving me the invitation to Puerto Rico. Also, my ex-husband giving me an invitation to his birthday party, which he knew I wasn't going to that. He knew it. But when somebody's listening... On the phone, you see, you have to stand when the devil calls you up, you have these folks that have been crap to you your whole life. And all of a sudden they want to be nice. Do people change? Absolutely. But people also get caught doing some of their crap. And that is probably what some of this stuff is. So let me see if I can put this over here. All right now you can't see. I'm going to switch this up just a tiny bit. All right. Tiny bit. All right. Let's take a look and see what comes out in Lenormand here. All right. Give me a story, please. What's going on? What is this about? What is this? I feel like this is a lot of Scorpio energy, but I feel like it's a trap energy. Somebody trying to get something, obtain information. Somebody, this is uh, number 25. This has to do with a relationship. 
Now, for some of you guys, your relationship could actually be on the rock. Some of you guys made promises or promises were made to you by your partner. And it looks like there's a possibility that, you know, it's about the house is over here, beautiful house. And then you got people over here, but it looks like something's falling apart. Something is still off balance. Some of you guys need to share domestic responsibilities with your partner. All right. All right, we have people happy about some sort of a house. Give me some more and tell me what's going on with this house. Uh-huh, we got people gossiping. We got the mice card, right? Whenever you have the mice card, people are gossiping and carrying on. You might have some people talking about some things that may have happened to you in your past, some things that they feel like you're doing now. I also feel like this is a burden. This is stress. So some of you guys are stressed out over some property, a house. Notice um, now the key didn't come up on this one. It came up on the last one, but there's some kind of burdens with a family and a house that are being exposed. Give me more. Yep. We have the coffin. This could have to do with somebody's health, All right, The coffin is an ending. Somebody's marriage could be ending. Somebody's foundation could be ending. These burdens could be off in somebody, All right? Somebody might want to go, go under somewhere and hide. I don't want this to be over, right? But it's an invitation that eventually you invited. There's a shady person that came in to try and do you in. The snake card is coming up. All right. So we have an untoward person. We have somebody who's untrustworthy. We have somebody who is the other person. This person could be a side person. All right. I am, I'm not going to go there, but there's somebody else, whether it be a man or a woman or something, there's somebody else who wants to get in there and cause all types of danger. They want to cause sadness. And this is suddenness. So suddenly, right? Suddenly there's going to be a foundation that shifts. There's going to be a tower for some people suddenly. Subconsciously, I believe this person wanted this to happen or they knew it was going to happen in order for them to move forward in something. But it does tell us that something has to die in order for us to get there, right? So this is a coffin. Somebody literally could have died. A house dynamic could change. You could have left the spouse with burdens. If we have one person that passed on and then we have somebody else who's strapped for money, they left behind with burdens that they have to deal with. This person could actually end up dying because of this situation or somebody's burdens were caused because of a death, right? We also have somebody coming out and saying whatever they want to say to ruin somebody's foundation. We also have whips here, okay? When you have the whips, this is somebody who's going in to try and take something out. This is about you stopping repeating patterns of trying to cut something out. Stopping patterns that repeat. Stopping patterns that stop me from moving forward spiritually or financially or whatever it is for you. All right. So I feel like there's somebody coming in to change something. We also have some kind of a man that comes in here. Let me see what information I have about this man. All right. This is actually a 28. So it symbolizes a group of men, actually. Right. A group of men. Something about a fish. In some cases, a fish represents a Pisces. In some cases, this has to do with finances. There's something about finances and men. I will look at somebody who's passed. Somebody meant to or somebody's foundation of home shifted. Somebody passed away. It changed the money. Somebody was being malicious, a snake. The other person that came in, somebody wanted you to know, guess what your husband and your wife was doing. They want you to know this is a very nasty energy that comes in. All right. We also have here the tree that comes up. So this talks about some kind of sickness or something like that. Somebody's going to be revealing that they got sick with somebody's spouse. Whatever that's about. I don't know if you guys communicate with this person, but we're going to find out. I'm going to just pull a no communication card. Well, I want to see something. Tell me about this. What is going on here? What is this about? What is this person? There's this person who's coming up. What is this person who wants to surprise everybody? I feel like you guys have this malicious side person who wants to come up and tell some folly. Oh, all these cards just fell. There's some malicious person who's out here trying to tell some kind of nonsense of folly. Right. And in some cases, it could actually be true. In some cases, you got some folks whose biggest fears are going to be realized. Right. Everything I didn't want to come out is going to come out. And I want to I'm going to pull these cards here. Just pull one. And give me the final energy for this. All right. What do they need to focus on? What do they need to focus on here? Or what do we need to know in this read? What do we need to know in this read? <sighs> 
Okay, we were just with somebody's worried, somebody's up all night. This could be a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini who's up worried all night. Foundation shifting. This is definitely air energy. There's something that's keeping you guys up all night. Some something that traumatized you. I feel like for some of you guys, I'm gonna be real. Let me tell you something. When you hang out with these devils, I want to be very clear. Let me just put this over here near the cards. Hold on. Let me move some stuff. Let me get right to it. I believe it's Romans. Don't quote me. It is Romans. I definitely know it's Romans. I don't know if it's 30-something. Look it up. Let not your good be evil spoken of. Like I said before, and that was my point of talking about my ex-husband, my own personal experience. We have a lot of people going through these things where these folks invite you somewhere just to get you on camera to say you was there. All right? Um... You know, even even with my mother, you know, we, the holidays would come up and we would play a little video or something. And my mother would say, oh, that's ridiculous. And then she'd do a little dance and you know she was kidding. But somebody out in the outside world would say, oh, look at Pastor so-and-so doing this and that. And that's not even what it's about. I got three minutes before I finish this up. So I want you guys to review that scripture. It's let, the main key to it is let not your good be evil spoken of. So sometimes, you know, when you're in a certain position, you can't get up. And be with anybody you can't get up see I, I'm, a, I'm a I never proclaimed to be anything all right you came into my backyard and made me whatever right I was minding my business but being that there are some folks who chose to take certain positions there is a certain way a certain etiquette that you need to go by right so one of them is let not your good be evil spoken of you cannot hang with the same people you can't be with these same folks because when the lights go off you don't know what these people are doing, but what you do know and what the people do see is they got a picture with you and it puts you right in bed relationship wise or, um, or business wise, you're identified as being there, right? And so that's how some folks get caught up. So we want to be very mindful about the people that we choose to entertain. And some of you guys, this is Virgo energy. Um, some of you guys need to stay away. If you're dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini, there's a possibility that you are taking some time away from these folks going into solitude with the Hermit card. That's Virgo energy. I choose to recline. I choose to uh, contemplate, introspect, and be enlightened about why these people used me or did whatever it is they did. But the final message to this, because I, I got a few, uh, one minute left up here. The final message to that is, at the end of the day, no matter what, we, we, you know, all of us have been young at what time and then you ask the Lord to forgive you or you move on and that doesn't serve me anymore, but we still have to reap what we sow. So even though this is not your situation, even though somebody may have framed you, right? Even though there's a possibility somebody could have framed you in some situation to make their crap go away, they drag you into it. You understand what I'm saying? And then all your stuff comes out. So if you're not comfortable with what you did, you have to say, Lord, I stand by every decision I ever made in my life because it, it was who I was at the time. It does not serve me today. But unfortunately, when you, when you continue to entertain nonsense, entertain devils, entertain people that aren't on the same page with you, then you got to sit back and hide. And, and then this tower falls and Everything that I built is destroyed and it's nothing but the devil. So I want y'all to be mindful about who it is you entertain. Mindful about these people that invite you out and carry on because it's a photo op for them to destroy you. I'm going to leave you with that and I'll come back with another message. I love you guys. I want you to be mindful of the devil and his plans and the plight and all this other stuff that he got arranged for you. All right. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Love you. Bye.